All right, Bill, let me paint you this picture for a moment. I used to be terrible with girls. I was always a nice guy, but that gets you nowhere. Oh, Jesus, exactly. Girls always said I was really nice, but uh, they were never interested. This was because I lacked confidence and wasn't sure of myself. There you go. Look at this guy taking responsibility for himself. That's exactly it. So as time went on, I got a few practice girls in. My confidence inevitably grew, and I started doing well. There you go, right there, all you youngsters, young guys out there, nice guys trying to get fucking laid. There it is. That's page one right there. You're a nice guy. You're fucking boring them. All right? You got to be a little bit of a dick. Right, Nia, as you walk in and try to have respect for the podcast? How much? Look at you. I can see it on your face right now. She's doing that classic girl thing where she's trying not to smile, and she's rolling her fucking eyes, and you know it. You got to be a little bit of a cocky asshole. You got to come up. You got to insult him a little bit. No. Yeah, you do. Like if I saw you right now, even though I like your outfit, I would walk up to you and be like, what, would you come straight from work? That's how you dress when you come out? You'd be like, what? I'm just fucking with you. What are you drinking? Right out of the gate. Come right out. Put your balls right on the fucking table. Take a look at him, sweetie. <laughs> I'm just trying to gross you out. No, whatever. You got to charm her. Do what you got to do. I don't like your fucking sandals. I don't like them. I've been meaning to tell you. Ow! That was a good one. Right in the fucking leg. Beat it. See that? She just gave me the finger as she walked out. See right there? That's the little ebb and flow you have to have in your relationship. See, if you're always complimenting them. You know what women are like? They're like dogs. Right? <laughs> This is a record for me. I've gone 46 minutes without trashing women. Um, yeah, they're like dogs. They really are. As much as they try to say we're like dogs, people are just like fucking dogs. You can't reward them all the goddamn time, stroking the back of their goddamn head. Next thing you know, they're shitting on the rug. Be once in a while, you got to give them a little discipline. Tell them you don't like what they're wearing. Um, anyways, so here was a guy. He, he figured it out. Why am I not getting laid? I don't have confidence. So what do I need to do? I need to go out there and get some at-bats. That's what you do. You go out there and you start talking some shit. And you're going to bomb and you're going to embarrass yourself. But eventually you're going to push through. And all those times you embarrassed yourself, they're just, they're just going to become, they're just going to, they're just going to be funny stories to tell. Um, gosh, do I have a funny one? I remember when I used to try to go to dance clubs, which totally weren't my scene. Because not only was I not good looking enough to be in there. I didn't know how to dance and couldn't dance, and I would just walk up to girls, and my opening line was I would yell, Hey, do you want to dance? And then they would go, No! And then I, <laughs> I would walk away. Oh, and it would take me at least another 40 minutes, if I did, to get the courage to approach another one. And that's the thing you broads don't fucking appreciate. You know, what do you got to do, huh? You got to sit there and pluck your hoo-hahs and pick the right fucking colored thong, make sure it matches your bra. You get to do all of that in private. We got to sit there and basically, it's like doing stand-up. The only way to learn how to do it is you have to go on stage and just eat your balls. You got to bomb. Um, I don't know. I guess it all gets made up because they get pregnant and they got to deal with that fucking shit, you know? And forget about the pain of pregnancy. Can you imagine another thing growing inside of you? Jesus, I would go to the doctor and be like, get this out of me, this, this virus. <laughs> I can, it's, it's eating my guts. No, 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 that's what's supposed to happen. Get it out. Get it out. Um, all right. Anyways, let's continue here. So uh, time went on, and I, I realize how ignorant all that's, that was. All right, ladies. Ladies, it's ladies' night today. It's ladies' day, morning, on the Monday morning podcast. I should have a ladies' morning, shouldn't I? A ladies' night on the Monday morning podcast, you know, and I'll play clips. I should do that and just be honoring you while I fucking just trash you in my own roundabout cunty way. That's what I'll do. I'll just play. All right, I'm back. I just ran out of battery power. God damn it, I was on a nice roll there. That always makes the editing difficult. I apologize, everybody. The fuck happened? Um, you know what's funny, too, is I went and I and I bought a whole bunch of these tr- AA batteries. You know, my girl was like, we need more AA batteries. Can you buy AA batteries? So I'm always using them, right? 
So I go down to the goddamn CVS and I buy like this big fucking 12 pack of them. 12 AA batteries. I go up to the package, there's like one left. Fucking goddamn fucking women. No matter what you buy, it's not enough. It's never a fuck. I just go take a battery out of some goddamn thing that she owns. No, not a vibrator, you fucking filthy assholes. It's actually this baby monitor so we can watch the dog in here. We're crate training the motherfucker. Um, so we sit here and watch this. Why we couldn't we just use our laptops and Skyped it, you know, sent the signal up to the fucking satellite. Whatever, let's get back on track here. I swear to God, if I bought the 24-pack, there would still only be one left. Well, I just replaced the batteries and everything just in case. Why is it illegal to slap you? Okay, let's plow ahead. <laughs> That's so mean. I would never do that. Okay, ladies, let's relax. All right, so let's, let's plow ahead here. Let me, let me get through the advice here so I can watch the Monday Night Football, which you guys are probably already doing. Um, so anyway, so this guy here. So as time went on, I got my confidence. I started doing well. I reserved the right. Uh, oh, anyways, you, see, you know, I didn't become cocky or start acting like I'm God's gift to women because I know... I'm, you know, I'm not that mentality, and it's for dickheads. Uh, so anyways, this guy's been through a considerable amount of women. I'm trying to paraphrase here because this is a really long email. He ends up meet, meeting this girl. Everything's going great. Um, he's having a good time with her. After some time, this guy's from Ireland. He says, after some time, uh, the blowjobs and sex altogether had started to diminish. I had to paraphrase because he wrote a ton of information there. Basically, he meets this girl. Everything's going great. They're basically drinking and fucking and everything's off. And then, you know, it starts tapering off. So um, so it starts tapering off, and she started to use sex as a weapon. Uh, she would play mental games with me, and, it, and I'd end up feeling like a bastard. When she'd shoot me down for sex, I'd say, that's cool, I don't mind. Then i excuse myself, go to the bathroom, and crack one out. There you go, sir. That's what you do. You know, and when you get to that fucking Kevin Spacey, beautiful mind level, you rub one out right in front of her. <laughs> never, I've never done that, but I think that that's awesome. Um, anyways, he goes, um, so anyways, I still got to empty the barrel, but she wasn't involved. And when I tried to talk to her calmly, about what she was, see what she was thinking uh, and how she was feeling, it would never go well. She would turn on the waterworks and play the victim, even though she was the one who instigated the mind-fucking. I'm not sure what her object objective was, because the concept of emotional blackmail is a foreign concept to me. Um, I'd always try to approach everything with a rational under understanding basis so that she wouldn't feel targeted or threatened. Um, I should also add that it took a lot for me to sit down calmly and talk while accepting criticism from her as I'm a very direct and often angry fella. Well, that's the only red flag there. Other than that, you seem like you take your shit and, and you give it as well. Uh, you got to watch the anger, dude. Trust me. I, I can speak volumes of that. Uh, I'm not the best guy in the world, so you can imagine how difficult it was not to punch her in her cunt face. Okay, this is getting a little uglier. Uh, as soon as she started crying... As I see crying as a schoolyard scapegoat for girls to get what they want because they know men don't know how to handle it. All right, I'll, I'm with you with everything right up to there. Sometimes women do cry because they're upset. They do have uh, access to that emotion more than we do. And I know, but I know that angry feeling you have where you're like, this is how you have to gauge that is basically if they cry every time, then you can call bullshit. But if they only cry once in a fucking blue moon, then you have to realize that you've really upset them. And yeah, and then you just got to deal with that, that fucking awkwardness of not knowing what to do. And then also feeling like a bully. But there's nothing worse, I will agree with you, that if you're right and you haven't done anything wrong and then they start crying and then, you know... You can't be a dick in that moment, but you, you don't. that doesn't mean you have to. Just because they're crying doesn't mean you have to apologize. If you're fucking right, you don't have to apologize. Uh, but there is that thing where if you make a female cry, I mean, if you're any sort of a guy, it's very difficult to just stand there and be like, what? 
What? I don't give a fuck. You're crying. Go ahead, cry some more. Huh? Like you're that, that guy in uh, the great Santini. You're going to shed a few? Start bouncing a basketball off the back of their head? You can't be that guy. All right, so let's plow ahead here. Um, and anyways, females, if you want to chime in there, uh, ladies, um, what's the deal with the crying? Like, what percentage of it is bullshit? Can I get an honest fucking woman out there? I mean, God knows, guys, we have our techniques to get out of shit. and They're fucking pathetic, and you see right through them. And I know right now you're like, why are you just rubbing their fucking muffs right now? Because that's a strategy to win arguments. You just keep feeding their fucking ego. There's a lot of women out there who really believe that guys are so fucking dumb that they can't get anything past them. And that's a great place for them to continue existing as far as I'm concerned. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, no one can get anything by you. You're just fucking, yeah, you're the fucking goddamn world police with, you know, you have a vagina. You fucking know everything. Yeah, can't get anything by you. You are all powerful. I bow down in front of thee. Um, you know, it was funny about that, yet... Any magazine out there can just, you know, fashion magazine can just tap into their fucking insecurities and get them to buy the dumbest, stupidest fucking war paint to put on their fucking face because some emaciated, I don't know, knee-knocked, pigeon-toed fucking drugged-up twat is wearing it. But you can't get, you know, you can't get anything past them yet. <laughs> That's great. My voice just cracked right there. Can't get anything past them. Um, I'm <clears throat> sorry. I'm actually getting over a cold. If you haven't, if you can't tell, how did you get the cold, Bill? Was it from traveling the country and doing all that press? No, it isn't. It's because I played a game of football in the fucking rain in street clothes before Monday Night Football last week. I'm sorry. I was amped up. Um. Anyways, let's plow ahead. So, uh, basically, this guy deals with her for the next two fucking months, and he finally ends up just saying he woke up one day and said, "Get your shite out of my flat." This this is over. I can't deal with these mind games. So, where do I get to his question here? Um, anyways, I don't have much of an ego. I like to accept my faults. You know what, dude? You've said that one too many times where I'm starting to think maybe you do. And maybe this woman is buried in a new fucking turnip garden in your backyard. I like to accept my faults and admit what I have done is wrong and learn from it. So as not to make the same mistakes over and over again. My question is, Bill, how do I get them to fuck up and stop testing my patience? And how do I meet someone who doesn't want to control me with their bullshit games? Um, I don't know, dude. I, I Half of this I'm really going with you when you seem like an introspective person. And the other half, you, you've worded this kind of like a psycho. How do you get them to fuck up and stop testing your pa like testing your patience? That's kind of like a, I picture Dick Cheney type guy saying something like that. What the fuck do I know? Basically, I don't know what your problem is in this email, okay? You dated a girl. She started playing mind games with you, and all it was was after two months, you were like, fuck this. Pack up your shit and get out of my life. Um, so it would be one thing if you were still in the relationship, then I would say that you have problems, but you don't. You uh, you met a psycho. So what I would say is, uh, I don't know, just stay single. Stay single right now. And wait till you find someone who doesn't uh, try to mind fuck you. The problem is, you sound like a younger guy. And the problem is, is what you're learning is that the crazy girls, they, they're really down for anything when it comes to sex. And uh, that's really hard to resist in your 20s. So... Uh, what I would say is in the future is when you meet a girl like that is not to get involved in a fucking relationship. But, uh, you know, bang them and, you know, get your stories out because it will prevent you from having a midlife crisis later on in life. Am I helping you out? I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of giving you shit here, but I'm also uh, – I'm trying – you know what I'm really doing right here is you're basically bearing the brunt of the fact that I've trashed women so much in the last 10 minutes that I have to try to seem like I'm balanced here. And that I don't ex understand exactly what the fuck you're saying, um, but I think I think you're fine. She tried to play that mind game with you. You didn't lose your shit. You said, according to you, anyways. You said I'm fine. You went in. You rubbed one out. You banged her for two fucking months. And one day you were like, "What am I doing?" And you just said, "Yeah, pack up your shit and get out of here."